In this tutorial, I will develop a watchdog functionality which I'll be using to record different events which are happening in my application. This is a very helpful tool to record important events in the application and later on as an application administrator I can see what are the different events which has occurred and through the variables we get a detailed insight of the data also. For example, I will record events like users logging into my application, creating new content on the application, very important deleting the Im very important deleting some content so that I understand who was the user who deleted the content, things like that. So as step one, let's create the migration for the watchdog table. Just to give you an overview, my current database is current empty and I have a few migrations but I have rolled them back. So let me go to the terminal and I'll show you CD database migrations and I have three migrations in total. All right, and I will now create a new one, watchdog. So I'll say PHP artisan make migration create watchdog table. All right, let's go to sublime text and quickly schema create watchdog. This is the name of the table and then function dollar table okay so the first thing is the increments inc -E -E increments id let's fill some comment unique identity file then our next column will be the message column which is a string column so i'll say table string message the message for the event okay the next column we will keep a level for the watchdog entry it can be an informational message it can be a warning or it can be something which is very dangerous so again a string column level I will limit the length to only 20 all right the next table is where I will store some context based variables. For example, if the user has logged in, I will store his user object. If the user has created a new content, I will store the content object. So this will be a text field, name will be variable and I will keep the serialized data. So context data in serialized format all right and for now the last table a timestamp which is incident time I'm not using the created and updated date, which is a timestamps field, because I don't think it is required in this context. It will be only one insert and no updates. So there is only created date and no updated date. That's why I'm keeping it as incident time. And as the last piece, let's write the code for the drop as well. Schema drop. If EXISTS exists, watchdog. So everything is in place, and I should be able to run PHP artisan migrate. Check the database. It says watchdog table has been migrated, but I don't see it. All right. 
so for some reason it was not getting updated so i have id message level variables and time okay so now that our migration is done it's time to create our model i'll quickly go into the terminal and say php artisan make model watchdog come to my text editor go to app I see watchdog so well the basic boilerplate is already in place I'll add up some properties first of all protected dollar table watchdog Oops. then the next will be the fillable fields I'll say fillable. this is an array the ones which I'll directly use for creating will be message level the third was variables and the last is incident incident underscore time with this I will be able to use the watchdog colon colon create function to do any kind of insert and just because I have not used any timestamps in my migrations, I'll need to tell that in the model. So it's a public property that is timestamps stamps equals false. This lets eloquent model know that you no know, this model doesn't have any timestamp field and so while the save event is fired, it will not throw up any error. Okay, most of the code is ready now. Let's go into the routes file and quickly check if things are working. Route get temp function. And this, let's say app. Watchdog create pass the array. First one is message. I'll say this is a test message. The next is level. I'll say this is an info. Then the next one was variables, so I will say variables s yes, variables let's confirm it it was s or was it just variable it was variable all right so variable and say serialize for now an array which has amitav comma roy comma one comma two all right that's more than enough and the incident time This will be carbon, carbon class. Now, time to test it. So, let me go to Chrome URL, say temp, unexpected syntax error watchdog, line number 13. Let's quickly fix it. Line number 13. Oh. saved and refresh all right no errors which means i should have one entry yes the only problem is i don't see the variable in this let's quickly see what was the problem all right text in fillable i have made a mistake it's variable so let's give it one more shot refresh fresh again and yes so the basic functionality 
of save is working but you know what inside the application writing this every time can be a problem so I will create a helper function which will help us quickly add the messages into the watchdog table throughout our application so first I will do is create a file inside app utils global functions dot php okay so inside utils I have this file now in this file I'll write the function watchdog which will do the necessary inserts whenever I call it if not function exist watchdog function watchdog I'll pass it three parameters dollar message dollar level which can be info by default and dollar variable which is null by default okay with this I'll first create a watchdog instance which is new app slash watchdog okay and now dollar watchdog so watchdog first thing is the message this is message is dollar message all right dollar level okay third thing was the variable I'll keep it serialized or also I need to first check it so if dollar variable then serialize dollar variable else it should be empty and last one is incident time which will be carbon carbon now and then we do a save yep things are almost done but now if I run this function inside my routes say I'll first comment it out and I'll say watchdog this is the message and again level is info and I pass this array as the third argument so this should do the trick but the problem is so far Laravel is not aware that I have a file called global functions which has this function defined so if I go to this temp page again with this part commented and run I'll say call to undefined function watchdog so how do we load that file Sorry. let's go to the composer.json file here I am loading every file which is inside app with the namespace so below that I will say files sorry this will be an array and in that I will load up the file from app slash utils global functions dot php I need to do pass the entire name and with that change things okay save the routes file composer.json I have added the entry now let's do a composer dump auto load so that the auto load class is built again and then we run a refresh okay no errors which means we should have a new entry yes it does so if I close that and say 
this is coming from a helper function dot 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 come here oh, sorry where's chrome refresh and then refresh it here let's check if the info can be changed to something like warning and oops something went wrong save it run it and yes so that's about it this is how i implement a watchdog table in my application and you know i kind of add this function to a lot of places so that i can register or rather log those and later on when i come into the application i can see what are the different activities which happened and make any require 